Alexis Wygan with the Alexis Wygan Real Estate Group here in San Antonio, Texas. Welcome to my video blog. Today's topic is going to be about renting your house. Specifically, if you couldn't sell your house the first time around, why I would caution you and almost disencourage you to rent your house. Now, before I start, the caveat to this is if you are already um, a an owner of multiple homes or your um, desire is to have long-term hold assets then this conversation is not for you right like you already have experienced property management you already have one or two investment homes and you're wanting to acquire more amazing that this topic's not for you this topic is for my sellers out there who they listed with an agent with high hopes of selling the house didn't sell and then when they talk to us, they're, they're really discouraged usually. And they're like, you know, I just don't know if I wanna relist. Um, I think I'm gonna try and rent my house and wait a year or two for the house to actually sell for more money. I will tell you, I have never seen that happen. In fact, the opposite has happened. So we have gotten into relationship, like I said, with sellers who had listed with a different firm or a different agent and then they rented for a year or two years and then they came to us and they said oh my gosh we absolutely regret renting the house because what happens is those renters that come in they're gonna have kids they're gonna have dogs they're gonna have all these life things right but they're not gonna have the same respect for your house as you do it was your hard-earned money or your sweat equity in the house that made it your home this isn't their home. This is a temporary housing for them. And so what that generally leads to is just a dollar amount for you as a seller that you're gonna have to repaint. Hopefully just re-steam the carpets to get them clean. You know, hopefully not replace any flooring. And you can trust that something is gonna give out, whether it's AC or something breaks. By the end of that first year of having tenants in there, if you're in San Antonio, there's only an average appreciation rate of three to 4%. I can assure you that money that you would have made is completely gone, either from vacancy of not having the house rented or from having to get it back into the condition that it once was when it was on the market. So if you guys find yourself in this position, please reach out, let us walk you through your options but um, really just pause and, and do yourself a favor and talk to an agent before jumping into a short-term rental that in the end is likely just gonna cost you time and frustration and money. I hope this has helped. If we can help, give us a call. Thanks for watching.